Hey guys, welcome up to you, Season 6, Episode 7 of Once Upon a Time. Here we go. What? You know who that is. Did I wake you? Do you remember your 15th birthday? You wanted to play. Oh, I've never seen such delight. Your father always made sure you got what you wanted. Plus a little bit more. Well, now I want what I've always wanted. Since your husband has half your heart, I give that to you. You see, that's a little bit more. That'll make today my perfect day. Regina put a protection spell on both of us the moment you rolled into town. <coughs> oh, did I say I would take them? No, I said you would hand them over. Why? And this is how I know it will happen. What is that? You have 12 hours to figure it out. My first thought process is, is, the, is Neil. But why would she do that? Is she that, is she that evil? A doggy! I am finally getting my revenge on Snow White. And Prince Farming thrown in as a bonus. You seem confident. Is the dark one helping you? Is that why he dropped by yesterday? Maybe. Yes. It was a productive conversation. Lots of give and take. What did you give and what did he take? Oh, oh he wanted the shears of destiny, so I fished them up for him. Don't start insinuating anything. We're simply old friends. Of course. I didn't mean a thing. Two old friends? <laughs> I'm sure you realize it's worth a hundred times that that is a family heirloom. I only know one family with heirlooms that valuable. What is your name? Three coppers would be fine. Just one. Damn. <laughs> I haven't met yet. That. Obviously. I know giving up isn't in your nature, but I think it's time to admit defeat Ooh. and sell the farm. For someone who does not have giving up in their nature, you put. <laughs> that is not the best phrase to to use. Ah oh, shit. Dude, can you even see out of that thing? Oh my. It must be the woodcutter, bounty hunter who usually specializes in hunting down werewolves. Somebody say bounty hunter. I have sold everything my parents gave me and I have just enough to book passage on a boat out of here. Out of her reach. And this farm. That's the dog. I'm trying to piece this together. I just don't know where we're going with it. You said we were alive and well in your vision of the future. The Oracle said things could kind of change as we went along, but the only thing that was certain was that I died. Speaking of death, I think I know what this is. Share with the class. You're just going to destroy this perfectly good. Whoa. Wow. Okay. What kind of potion is that? It's water. Well, I knew. I never trusted this stuff. I'm going to never do that. <laughs> exactly. From the River of Lost Souls. She's working with gold. He brought it back from the underworld. How did he now, get? How did he get that? Hearts. What's she gonna do? Put it in the water supply? <laughs> Take a drink of water. You turn into a skeleton. At least we figured that out fast. Ourselves, they all die. You're fine, will we? Cup. Why you let me hold your treasure? Ruby. Can I help you? Dan uh, fucking Scott? My, what the hell? <laughs> that's, uh, that's my cup you have there. That's the guy in the mask. He's the one in the mask. Say, which way are you headed? <laughs> Dan Scott. Oh. 
love is the most powerful magic in the world. Really? You know that brooch I sold? My father gave that to my mother because he loved her. She treasured it because it was from him. After she died, you know what he did? He gave it to Regina because he loved her too. She treated it like trash. His love meant everything to my mother and nothing to my stepmother. See, love doesn't hold its value. He's not acting like the man he could be. I wish I could help. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to counteract lost soul's water. So we... I don't think anybody does. ...die, or the old queen gets exactly what she's always wanted. How do you know there's more? There is a bit of magic that just might be powerful enough to imprison the evil queen. It's a sapling. A baby tree? It was created by the first spark of a true love. It's incredibly rare. Have you got one? We had one back in the Enchanted Forest. We assumed that it was left behind in the curse, but now we think it might be lost somewhere here in Storybrooke. A spell that could point the way with a sort of beacon, but it wouldn't be visible just to us. If Gold or the Queen or even Zelina saw it, they would know exactly what it was. No, oh, we'd have a race on our hands. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. The evil Queen and Gold's alliance, they're, um, maybe more to it than business. Rumpel and I, there was always a certain amount of chemistry. Regina, oh my god. I know. Nothing ever happened. That's, that's so weird. That's his grandfather. <laughs> That was the fakest looking bird I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, this is so awkward. Oh! Oh. Just let me pass. She wrote it. I just rubbed my nose in it. Oh, I didn't boy. write this. No. Someone with your handwriting did. She's still not happy. We just need to figure out where we're gonna put the evil queen once we've got her. My vault. I've taken all the blood magic off the lock, so it should hold her. But there's still a lot of dangerous stuff in there. Look, and I can pack it all up. All right, let's go. That would Dad, be wise. Be careful, okay? Very, right. very wise. I'm in good company. Drink up. No more breaks after this. We can make it all the way to Longbourn in one leg. Well, thanks. Oh, shit. He's just sleeping. Dan and I have a fun game for you and me to play in the meantime. So he's a bounty hunter. I see you met my friend. How did you find me? You're nothing but a lost princess. And I came across an excellent sheepdog. Oh, the dog's like, I did not sign up for this. <laughs> you know where we are? Yeah, they found me during the curse when I wandered out of the hospital. Where you saved me. <laughs> what are the chances? I think it's a sign. I think it's good to be on an adventure with you again. It's always good. Hey, lovers. Voila. Okay. It's a hatch. Desmond? That's, that's funny. What is Alice Fork? Snake's tongue. There's some of that in the thing I've been drinking to find Aladdin. Well, you kiss me with that mouth. It goes up to Henry so he can pack the bug before the new tenant comes. I'm gonna find that magic little baby tree thing and <laughs> the queen. I'm gonna find that magic little tree thing. Yeah, that's magic right. little baby tree yeah. thing. I borrowed Henry's book. Oh. I wanted to tell your story. Oh, yes. Yes, do explain. Where are we at? Story time. Whoa, I have that page! The evil queen. Where is it? Separate these two. 
But no matter what you try, they always find each other. Shit. <laughs> Oh, this is just unfortunate right now. I have that one too! Shit! Hey! Hey! <laughs> See? Oh my god. The struggle is real. Hey, Pinocchio! I swear I have that page. It looks exactly like that. I'm losing my mind. Ha! Let's go! <laughs> I should have just thought, hey, it's probably at the beginning. Oh, y'all y'all didn't think it was about you? Oh, I totally yeah. thought it was about y'all. That was a secret. I didn't know. <laughs> I just kind of thought, oh, yeah. Damn it. Maybe it just needs a fertilizer. Oh, yeah. 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 Rage against the dying of the light. Just do it quickly. I'll see you at the cemetery soon enough. It's a good place for endings. <laughs> a cemetery? <laughs> You're not gonna die. Have much time. Watch that. What? Watch them die. That would be crazy. Knowing you believe in me, that means I'm not alone. That was a memory, but. It was my memory. What? Think about it. Every moment we saw was a memory we shared. Except that one. Uh, Y'all didn't know it was each other. Uh, handing over the corpse. You weren't even there for that. No. You weren't. Oh boy. <laughs> Dan Scott! Kill Dan Scott. I, uh, I've made some enemies. If you see my face, there will be a target on your back. Okay. After I'm gone, you can let yourself out. Thank you. Oh, wow. Trying to survive and... Not doing a very good job of it. <laughs> well, I'm impressed. What were you doing on this road? I was headed to Longbourn. <laughs> Sell my mother's farm. I have money. What? Yeah, I was going to... Never mind. You should have it uh, as a reward for rescuing me. No way. There's a... A pretty corrupt nobleman. Who rides his carriage through my territory a lot. It just might happen that some of his fine cash is liberated as he passes through. I'll find a way. Sounds dangerous. You sure you want to do it alone? Knowing you believe in me means I'm not alone. That's wow. What the hell? Okay, 
see, I was thinking it was where they... Where he woke her up. I still thought it was about them. <laughs> I didn't think that was a secret. Or unknown, I guess. My people. No, no. I'm so no. glad you accepted my invitation because this is about you. Would you like to know the rest of what has to happen up to you? There's so much time left. Sapling, but we don't need it. Yeah. Most people go through life never knowing where their paths will take them. But somehow we always do. It's always to each other and then back to you. Are you sure? Yes. If the protection's up. You know, regardless of what you do, they're they're still winning. It's like you don't actually win. I've dreamt of this moment for so long, so hard. I'd wake up still feeling the grit of your crushed heart clinging to my palms. That ending isn't poetic enough, is it? I want to give you my pain. The pain of being alone. What? And since I couldn't quite accomplish that by killing you, I've come up with something much more cruel. Oh no. I don't understand. Wait, what? What what did that do? What? <laughs> Sleeping curse. This one has a little twist. What's the twist? You say you always find her. Go find her. Start looking shepherd. I Kind of twist. What? Am I, am I creative enough to think of what kind of twist it could be? Does it need two kisses? <laughs> she also told me about the shears. Now that, that I do care about. She said that you're going to use them on our son. The first moment you can, the moment that he's born, to cut him off from his future. Well, I, I won't allow that. You don't get to tamper with his life. His life? Just to keep him from hating you, I forbid it. I love you. <laughs> the things I do that are driven by the love of my son. That excuse that, that doesn't work anymore. <laughs> you were evil like the queen and maybe I could forgive you because that's all you could be. You could be a good man. You want your son's love. Don't take it. Be worthy of it. That's just you all over, isn't it? Afraid of failing. Ooh. That's worse than being evil. That's... That's just being too weak. Oh! Damn! Selena. <laughs> I don't know where she can be. Oh, okay. Where's the center before? Center before? Oh, like poetically? Like she's in the same little kind of. I still don't know what this twist can be. That's too easy if it's two kisses, though, from two people who love you. She's literally surrounded by all that. That would just be too simple. Well, it is poetically. I, I don't know. D do you die if if I don't she? Think a kiss if is you. Going to do this time. Dude, I don't know. Just let him try. Is it like toxic? Oh wow, that was really that's really good. It's really well done. Did she forget about you? Oh no. 
What's the twist? Awake, the other will be asleep. Oh my god, so what? As long as the curse is unbroken. Oh, that's brilliant. But evil, we'll evil. Ah. Oh. One second, I have to write that down. That was good. Uh, that, that's really good. And an absolutely annoying time with my camera during this entire video. Uh, but, we have made it. <laughs> I swear, I think it took me like an hour to make this episode. And it's only 40 minutes, so. <laughs> uh, technology just doesn't work sometimes. Uh, that was a great episode. I really like the way they did that. And I like the concept behind that, one awake, one asleep, because they share a heart, and then every time they wake the other up, the other one falls asleep. That's brilliant. They did have me for a split second, because I did say, does he die? <laughs> and he freaking drops, and I'm like, no way. I wasn't serious, I was just like, that is a twist. Um, but no, he, he fell asleep. So, we're good. He's still alive. Uh... Dan Scott. <laughs> I don't... I've not seen that man in a lot of things outside of One Tree Hill. Honestly, I can't recall anything else I've seen him in. He, I'm sure I've seen him in something else, but... I feel like I have, but I'm not... It's not coming to my head, but, uh, yeah, that was a little One Tree Hill kind of thing right there. Um, yeah, it was a great episode. As we move forward on to the next one. I'm not going to mess with the top ten right now. I'm not going to mess with it this week. I'll mess with it next week. Um, I will see y'all next time.